Hey guys, welcome back to Public Speaking. So we're going to take it back to um, basics. So we're going to talk about like some strengths and weaknesses. Um, so we're going to do for the next couple of um, videos. So we're going to do physical, mentally, or me mental, mentally, or <laughs> mental, mental, or presentation, or and presentation. So we're going to cover some strengths and weaknesses and how to um, get on top of your weaknesses. So I'm going to kick it over to DC to start us off. Alright, well, also, as you can see, we switched up the setup again, back to the original one. Um, so yeah, firstly, I guess, to kind of break down what we mean when we say the physical strengths and weaknesses of public speaking, um, an example of that is when you're standing, say if it's like a very formal speech and you're standing on a stage or whatever it is, and you're just being very shaky or you start talking and your voice changes a little bit or it cracks a lot. Uh, you start sweating, you get really red in the face or your breathing just gets very heavy or very, or much more fast. Um, so that's kind of what we mean when we say physical strengths and weaknesses. There are different ways to deal with these different things, which I'm going to chuck back to Tay and she can kind of explain how. Yes, yeah, so, um, we've covered a little bit about like doing some of these things in previous videos but the best thing I've learnt to do or I've been taught to do um, is just take a deep breath before you go out there um, just calm yourself down, have a drink of water or even take a drink of water out there with you so you can have that bit of a break because everyone's like um, <coughs> how does that mind blowing? <laughs> oh god um, but like everyone might judge you for it because everyone's going to drink water once. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so having that drink of water will um, give you that time to pause, um, you know, recuperate and just get back on going with it. Also, um, try and like, if you're, how would you put it, like, if you don't like a bunch of people, so like as many large crowds, large crowds um, and you don't like talking in front of a bunch of crowds. Like, I tend to look at like, if I've got a friend in the middle, I tend to look at them mm. and just focus on them. Or if you haven't got like a friend or a family member, um, I tend to look at like a light right at the back of the room yeah. or even just an exit sign on the side. Yeah. Because um, it still looks like you're looking at the crowd, but at the same time, you're not looking at the crowd. <laughs> you're just focusing on like exit lights and just... Yeah. Or even just like if you are like um, fidgeting or something like that, even just go like just walk around a little bit. Yeah. Because that works as well. Like I tend to just like get really nervous and just pace. Yeah. And it's like it's annoying, but it's it's good at the same time depending on what presentation it is. Yeah. If it's like behind a lectern or whatever it is, you better stay behind the lectern. Yeah. Even or not always. Like, Oh, depending on the situation again. Yeah. Even just like kind of like play with your pen but not play with your pen. Yeah. If you've got a pen, um and yeah, just like but if you're really, really nervous, just go back to drinking by taking breaks and drinking the water because no one's gonna judge you for that. Yeah. And a big thing again for I think Tay and I especially, like doing this kind of stuff, we used to hate it. Yeah. And like we would stress over it in the beginning and we go through the majority of these things that I've said before. But now because we've had to do it so many times, we're able to just talk about it and then get straight into it. Yeah. So it is one of those things where, you know, practice makes perfect or, you know, the more you do it the easier it gets. But you still have the moments when you're a bit nervous and Yeah. Well I still get nervous talking in front of a camera. I'm just like, Ugh. Yeah. But see, I get more nervous about it if I'm just me and the camera. Yeah. Whereas if I'm doing this with Tay, I have no worries at all. Like, I'm completely fine. But it's, if I have to do it by myself, yeah, I go through that list of things and I'm, like, freaking out. And also, like, if you know you're going to do, like, a big speech in front of a big crowd or whatever, um, like, try and practice it in front of the mirror or even film yourself to just get that general sense of 
talking about what you're talking about, um, which is, yeah, really good. Yeah, and that can also help you figure out what's good about your speech, what you might need to change about it. And it just gets you used to hearing your own voice because sometimes that's a big thing for people, but that's kind of more of a mental, so we might mention that in the next video. Yeah. But, yeah. So yeah, if you have any um, any other weaknesses that you have, comment down below, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.